everyone. Welcome back. Um, hello to my new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate that to all of you actually. Um, today I'm here um, to announce that I have joined a collaboration. This one is with Mandy's Place and it is her um, Halloween collaboration. Um, for the next five weeks, every Saturday, we'll be posting a video um, sharing with you um, the, what we've made for each week. We are to make five different projects, um, whatever we want, as long as they're Halloween themed. Um, and at the end of the five weeks, we will swap our goodies with a partner. Um, I will leave the link to Mandy's channel along with the other ladies participating in the description box. So please check them out. Go over, say hi, let them know that I sent you. Um, 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 let me think. Share if you want. Um, let people know that we're doing this so we can get some more followers or whatnot. Um, so I am behind on my first video. I didn't really have anything Halloween and so I had to go out and get a few things before I could do it. So um, the first Saturday was this past Saturday. Um, so um, the second one is this coming up Saturday and so I gotta get a rush on doing this. Anyway, um, what I made is for my first project is this wand. Go do, 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 do. Made a couple rosettes, larger the rosettes, stacked them, and I like to give mine a, a decorative border. So um, on this back one here, what I used was this this punch here, and then with the spider web one. I cut the edges with these oh, with these scissors. Okay. Um, and what I do is um, before I um, actually I score it first. I score the um, marks first for the rosette, and then before I um, like bend them all up is when I'll do the edging so that way it's a lot easier and then I'll start you know bending each crease and stuff like that just makes it a little bit easier to do so you can't really see on this one this background here but I used some tattered angels um, spritz. It's really pretty when you are able to see it. It's like really pretty. But um, you can kind of tell on the white where it was white. It's a little orangey now but the camera doesn't want to focus in on that background. There we go. Um, can't really see the sparkle on that really much. Now on here you can because I use my Weekestella. Sorry about that. But yeah, so um, I did a larger rosette and then a little bit of smaller one. Um, this little phrase here came out of a scrapbooking pack that came with these papers as well. And all I did is layered it with some of the orange um, and then used my clear Wink of Stella on it to give it a sparkle. And then this little square right here is also a punch, which is this. It punches out the whole square and then like the border, the frame right there, like that too. So I did that. Instead of using like the normal circle, I thought I'd give it another dimension. And then I did take some um, fake spider webs and just kind of wrapped it around the whole one 
in the back and everything and um, made it secure so it's not like falling off anywhere and everything and the pieces that were like all stray I kind of cut them off and trimmed them down and then this little spider here is from the Dollar Tree it's actually a pack of these rings and all I did was cut the ring part off very simple it's just you know plastic so I thought they were really pretty looking with the gems in them and then the ribbon what I do is I take the length that I want and then I fold it in half and then I stick um, the folded part in one of the grooves of the rosette and then I stick the um, straw right on top of it in place with hot glue and then that is my stamp on another punched piece and these um, ribbons here um, I got from Walmart they're the cheapy ones but I have like every I have them in every color you guys like you could possibly think um, Michaels and Joann's also sells them too So that's my first project. Okay, I wanted to show you guys. Some of you, I don't know if you guys have made. So I'm sure some of you have made rosettes before. Um, but I just wanted to explain a little bit of something. The bigger you want your rosette you know like the how this one is bigger than this one you um you, is how wide you cut your piece of paper see how this one's um, wider than this one is this one will turn out to be a really a smaller rosette and this one will be a larger one so that's how <clears throat> you determine your size is just you make it wider and then I score it on every um, quarter of an inch on every quarter of an inch and then you just fold it back and forth and back and forth like an accordion but if you want that decorative edge like I said I I usually cut it before I start doing this because it makes it a whole lot easier so when you're when it's all like this you're like ah, I can't, I can't cut it right uh, you know whatever <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for stopping by. Um, like I said, I'll leave the link to Mandy's channel and the rest of the ladies participating. Stay tuned for next Saturday where I'll be back with my next project. Um, thanks for stopping by, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.